Hello everyone, welcome to our video lesson for quarter 4 module 2. So this is something to do with the earth's resources and uh, conservation uh, measures that we are going to implement for us to extend the use of these natural of these resources. So without much further delay, let's proceed to the what I know portion. So in this module, it's divided into two parts. So the first part is all about the natural resources of our uh, planet Earth. And the second part is the conservation measures. So let's start with the what I know portion for the first part. So I go over ko lang itong what I know answers natin. And all you have to do is to pause this video for you to get the correct answers. Kasi, we are going to try to limit this video lesson into one uh, part. One video lesson consisting of two parts already. So, let's just focus on the discussion part. So, Yes, Earth's natural resources is divided. Okay, so basically our location, we're located near the equator and we experience sunshine all year round and we receive abundant rainfall as well. So with this, our country, Philippines, is very rich in natural resources so for the what i know what's new okay what's new we have here the picture it r stands for replaced easily and r for not replaced easily so the trees the fish water they can be replaced easily whereas the gold the soil they cannot be replaced easily in r sha so let's first define natural resources so when you say natural resources they are things that we can find in our environment that we use to meet our needs and there are two types of natural resources they are renewable and non-renewable resources so when you say renewable resources they are materials that can be replaced easily or have the potential to be replaced over time on the other hand non-renewable resources are natural resources that are in limited supply or once consumed they cannot be replaced easily or it takes millions of years for it to be replaced just like soil soil comes from rocks and rocks takes millions of years for it to become soil anyway when you say plants and animals it will just or the plants can we can just plant another uh for example we consume cabbage we could just plant another cabbage and after two to three months we can have another cabbage and for example we are going to eat our chicken so after few months of raising another chicks it will become another chicken so it will be replaced easily so they are examples of um, renewable resources so in the Philippines yes we are very lucky it starts a it starts with the water resources that we have in our country so the abundant rainfall that we receive in our country the water that we gather in the different watersheds in our can in our yes in our country they are very good uh, resource or a renewable resource example a renewable resource which is water our country philippines is uh, a home to many watersheds 
So these watersheds supply the water needed by the communities and the varied life forms in that in our area. Water is, yes, as I've said, is an example of a renewable resource because it has plenty of supply. Just what I have, I have mentioned a while ago, we have abundant rainfall in our country. On the other hand, yeah, too much rain can cause floods which happen to our neighboring place. This too much rain can cause uh, the topsoil where plants grow to be washed away. So, as we know, soil is an example of non-renewable resource. So, we need to make measures for us to conserve this, the soil so that it will not run out. So, let's talk about it later. So, let's go to the Philippines' rich resources. So, our country is recognized as the fifth mineral, mineral rich country in the world, third in gold reserves, fourth in copper, and fifth in nickel. Since our country is located in the Pacific Ring of Fire, we are very rich in different minerals. So, we have a lot of metals present in this area because of the presence of different of us how many volcanoes there are a lot of volcanoes in this area active volcanoes so metals have many uses so because of this presence of many volcanoes so there are many different metallic mineral deposits like copper gold silver lead and zinc and we know that metals have many uses as i've mentioned a while ago so since metals have many uses okay as um so metals are non-renewable resources people use them without limits because of the economic gain brought by these metals but take note metals takes a lot of time uh, for it to be developed for it to go out of our of this from the volcano so besides that our country is located in the pacific ring of fire which uh gives us a lot of me different metallic mineral deposits we are also located where uh, these geological conditions can provide us with high potential for renewable energy resources such as solar energy, geothermal energy, hydropower, wind energy, and yes, biomass. So these renewable energy resources can replace these non-renewable energy resources such as coal, crude oil, natural gas, and other fossil fuels, which takes millions of years for dead and at plants and animals to turn into fossil fuels. Okay, for the what's more portion, let's have this. Okay, gold nickel, so the can, it's from tin, which is a metallic mineral deposit, then petroleum, steel, crude oil, they're non-renewable. Leather shoes, water, paper, cotton, wooden chair, they're renewable resources. So what I have learned, so pause na lang itong video para mag over new ang answers. Pause and yes. For the what I can do kayo na ang gagawa niyan using your own. Okay. Take a look at your house. What are the resources that you can find there, renewable and non-renewable. And for the assessment, paki post na lang itong video. I am hoping ma-compress into one video ang dalawa. Ito, poster, kayo na mag-draw. Okay, this is the second part, lesson 2, conservation. I-go over ko na lang ha. I-fast forward ko. Kayo na lang mag-pause. 
sustainable use of natural resources. So this is all about conservation. Yeah, just pause. Cause and effect. So illegal flooding of logging or deforestation can cause flooding. So for us to use our resources sustainable sustainably, we have here the tips. Practice the five R's, the refuse, reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, then save energy. Yeah, we keep on practicing this at home already. And renewable energy resource. Yes, in at in our house, we are using solar panel to power our um, electricity there at home. It cost us, it's very expensive, but we're able to save our electricity. I mean, we just pay half from our usual payment of electricity anyway. We also have to do reforestation because we know that forests can help us a lot. We can get their lumber, food, water. So, and forests as well can help prevent floods. And there in the forest, carbon dioxide are stored so that global warming will be reduced. And use alternative energy resources just like the sun's heat wind power flowing water and heat from the earth so that we can stop emitting air pollutants and carbon dioxide that contributes to the global warming And yes, always practice the five R's, the reduce, recycle, reuse, refuse, and recover. For the what's more, okay, pause na lang itong video. What I have learned as well. Okay, what I have learned. And what I can do, kayo nang bahala dyan. Assessment, yeah, we're almost done. So, which of the following practice will help protect our environment? So, reusing paper bags. What do you call the practice of using resources wisely without wasting? That's sustainability. Which of the following natural resources need to be conserved strictly because it will take a very long time to produce and accumulate them? That's cool. What is the best example of using resources wisely? Collecting rainwater for cleaning purposes. Yes. You are asked by your mother to buy table salt in the store near your house. What is the best thing to do to save energy? Of course, walk. The following practices destroy habitat of animals except planting trees. If you plant trees, you will not destroy habitat of animals. If we use fossil fuels more rapidly than they are produced, what might happen? The supply will be depleted completely. Which of the following promotes sustainable use of resources? So conserving, composting, recycling, reusing. What does conservation of natural resources mean? We should use them wisely. Your community is rich in metallic minerals. How can your community conserve these mineral deposits? Regulate mining by formulating laws. Your science projects project requires you to make something creative but should depict but should depict conservation of resources. Which of the following would you likely create? Improvised chair made of old tires, hanging curtain made of recycled plastic bottles, and picture frame made from recycled cardboards. Cardboards. Which of the following does not show conservation of natural resources? Mr. Augustine uses too much chemical fertilizer in his farm. So for us to conserve our natural resources, let's use organic fertilizers just like the mga iti of chickens. Chicken poo? Okay. Anyway. So go over ko na lang ang answers sa 14 and 15. Additional activities kay ng bahala nito. So thank you for watching our video lesson. Bye-bye. See you next time.